Welcome back. I'm Calvin, aka Statue Fanatic, here with another unboxing. And we're going to take a look at something I've already looked at, like twice already. So uh, this is part of the black and white line. We looked at this. I compared version one and version two. You can check the video out where I did that. And a lot of people that watched it saw some differences, the very small differences in the two. And then I, I saw that this was coming out and I was already in, you know, too deep. So I figured why not? And it looks like with a lot of the very popular black and white um, statues, this is the 100th one based on McFarlane's um, uh, 423rd co uh, Batman cover. And it's one of the most popular, iconic McFarlane covers that he's done for Batman. Batman, And I was really excited the first time I saw this was at New York Comic Con or San Diego Comic Con, one of them. This is number 100 in the black and white line. Of course, you can see this isn't black and white. And so that's why we're going to be reviewing this one because the other two were black and white. And it seems like, like I was saying that in this particular line that they are starting to um, take some of the more popular ones, maybe like this Jim Lee one, and colorize them and you know maybe some people have different feelings and views about that because the black and white part is what make this line so unique but then you've got some people the black and white not be their thing so I think this is a, a really cool way to uh, to cater to them too and I'm sure it's a great way for DC to make a ton of money so I have not opened this uh, where's my little knife thing at here I'm gonna open this guy here right here on camera and see what it looks like and what I'll do is I'll get the other two and compare the two of them. Um, and in fact, of the black and white line, I mean, I've loved quite a few of them. There's top two that I absolutely love. It is this one um, that is one of my favorites. And then the other one is the uh, Jane St. Jean sculpt of Lee Bermejo Joker. Uh, my absolute favorite probably would be that one and then this one. This by far, I think, is the largest black and white that they've done so far. Let's see here. Looks like that's already open. And we'll... Oh, and this was... Um, I'll have to look at the box to, to make sure. This was a, a limited edition. I don't know how many of this was made, but when I take it out, we'll take a look at that. And it was a Japan, a Japanese exclusive, from what I understand. So let's open this didn't talk much about the box because it's just like the other boxes it's just color <laughs> mess up here and pack is just like the other one um, again I, I, I really 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 like this sculpt a lot you know my hands there yeah? So we wanted to see how many of these were made. So it looks like with this particular one, there is uh, 500 of these, and this is like a 255 of 500. And because of the matte finish on here, I'm gonna try my best not to touch this at all because I can see where fingerprints would probably show up quite significantly on here. Wow, it, it looks really, really awesome. Just like the other one, I, I think the sculpt, there's not a whole lot to talk about. If you wanna see the, what I thought about that, you can check out the other one. But I do like the color on here. And again, they've done a really great job uh, painting this. You can see some of the shading and all that kind of great stuff with the, the cape that's flowing. But they did color um, his suit there is gray with the yellow and black bat insignia and then the same thing down here the base is also yellow and black with the bat signal on it but this one is just like the others in terms of uh, sculpt I'm gonna put them right next to each other here so you guys can take a look like I said before when we were looking at the other ones there were quite a few of people who were like well the ears are longer this is shorter that shorter I had a hard time telling anything and the only thing that actually did stand out on the other two was the bottom of it had a different some different wording and logo like once it DC direct or whatever but I don't think any of that matters so let me get the other two and we'll compare them so here you have all three of them and um, I know some people are gonna ask and I'm caught off guard here because I had both of the black ones this way. So I don't know which one is which. So one is the um, first version and the other one is the second version and of course the third version in the middle. But which one of the black and whites is which? I, I really, I, I have to like look at the box and all that stuff. I have no idea. Uh, so we'll just leave that a mystery and you guys can kind of 
make some comments and tell me which one you like the best. It's kind of hard for me to tell what, in terms of what I like the best because they all are basically the same exact sculpt. The paint on all three of them are done extremely well. And here, the blue, I mean, I like it. But what, what I do like about these two, if you're going to get this set up, it does look really good all together, all three of them together. Having this, a little bit overkill unless you're a super, super Batman fan. Um, and But if you're a big McFarlane fan, big, back, big Batman fan, uh, eh, they, they, they display really well together. I like all three. I made a commitment when I got the first one that I would show all of the other ones. I'm not even sure how to get this one in the middle or if it's sold out or anything. It may be a big bad toy store, not sponsored anything, but that's one of the places that I saw it. And I know the first version is still waitlisted on Sideshow, but you can get the second version. But I don't think you're missing out when it comes to the black and white ones. Either one you'll be fine with. Um, of course, this paint scheme on all of them are similar but because of the way they're painted you're going to find some nuances and some differences on the paint but otherwise um i like the way that the uh this one in the middle sets off the other two on the end the contrast here looks really good and again thank all of you guys for tuning in and remember to always always collect what you like and not the hype until next time my friends peace